I covered the most effective exercise for you to be able to increase your fitness as a cyclist. And in this video, I wanted to show you how these high intensity interval sessions fit into my training blocks and then how those training blocks stack up in order for me to be able to reach my fitness potential. For the last four weeks now, my riding has almost exclusively been high intensity interval training sessions. I've been keeping the TSS, the training stress score, incredibly low and the IF, the intensity factor, incredibly high. Using the method of progressive overload over these four weeks, incrementally increasing the intensity each week until the fifth week, which is a tapering week when I'm just riding whatever watts per kilo, keeping the TSS and IF both incredibly low. Making sure that in these sessions, I'm able to complete every single rep within zones five to seven. With any endurance training like this, when you're incrementally increasing the workload, increasing the fatigue, I'm very mindful to make sure to redress the balance with rest and nutrition. The fifth taper week is incredibly important because that is when my body gets to play catch up and recover fully from the workload that I've pushed it through and reap the gains from all of the hills I've slain over the last four weeks, resulting in the adaptation of a new level of fitness that I can then springboard off of into another five week block even more powerful. Having just come out of a five week high intensity interval training block, I'm actually just taking some time to enjoy the gains that I've reaped, the fitness that I've got, just to do some Zwift races until I'm ready when I will then jump into my next five week high intensity interval training block. This time even more powerful than I was at the start of the last. Group, and it's going to be Ash Beach, I believe it is here. 5.7 watts per kilogram now on the attack. Good to see Ash jumping into the race here. Spinning the wind here, 106 RPMs. And this is not a man you want to just wa let walk away here. So that I may only do one high intensity interval training session in the first week of this training block, just like I did in the last. But this time, I'm going to increase the intensity of each hill rep just a little bit further. I'll continue to incrementally increase the intensity throughout the training block until the fifth week when I will taper off. And then I can then either stack more power focus blocks until I feel that I've reached peak efficiency in this pillar. Then I can move on to more weight or blood focus training blocks. Once I have stacked enough singularly focused training blocks on top of each other to reach peak efficiency across all the four pillars, I will have reached my potential as a powerful cyclist. If you've got any questions, I'm always happy to answer. I read every single one of your comments and I love your feedback. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.